why is it so bright? I'm definitely not at home. Okay, it's coming back to me. Oh, right. Cool, I am naked. That's not gonna make it difficult to leave or anything. Oh wow, why is it so bright? Do people still call it a walk of shame? Because I've never really understood that. First of all, it sounds like an outdated term from a bad 90s rom-com. Second of all, what exactly am I supposed to be ashamed about? What, that I got laid? I feel lonely. What I am ashamed of though is putting on the same pair of shoes I wore last night because my feet are killing me. Hey, Brian? Yep. Hey, you looks like you had a pretty good night. Really? You do the Tinder thing, you do the bumble. Wow. All right. So why don't you take it Let me start by saying I am no role model. I didn't marry my high school sweetheart. My day job is actually at night. And my idea of a Sunday service is a guy on his knees servicing me. But what I do have are good stories. And lucky for you, I have no filter and I'm willing to share. Why is it so bright? So I hope you guys stick around. Maybe you'll laugh, maybe shed a tear, who knows? But first... Call me old-fashioned, but I like meeting people organically. No apps for me. But don't get the wrong impression, it will rarely happen here. You'd be surprised how many people think they can take their bartender home. But every now and then... Let me introduce you to The Hipster, a fashion-forward trendsetter who hated things on forums before it was cool on Twitter. He collects vintage motorcycles, but he doesn't ride them because it's bad for the environment. He may or may not have a job, but can still afford the newest iPhone. He also makes his own kombucha. The key is fermentation. Don't do the four weeks. You gotta do five. Listen, I grew up where the only healthy drink was Gatorade, so... I don't know. There you go. Anyway, this guy knows where to eat, where to drink, where to find cruelty-free jeans, which I guess is a thing. So he likes to do yoga, but only old-school traditional yoga because goat yoga got too mainstream. He also meditates, which I don't know if I've really gotten the hang of it yet. Usually I just kind of start thinking about what I need at Trader Joe's. I hope they have the frozen dumplings this time. Those are so good when I'm stoned. He'll also make you listen to all of his favorite music on vinyl because he will swear it is the best way to hear it. And honestly, you guys, he's not wrong. But let's get down to what you really want to know. I just wish he didn't stare so deeply into my eyes. I want to feel you. Sex is more of a spiritual experience for him. I want to feel... It's a journey of existential bliss. But once he gets there, oh, what's this? Wait a minute, am I enjoying this? Oh, here we go. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God. I think my favorite thing would be the conversation. We could talk about music, theory, art, philosophy, anything. And he really listens to what you have to say. He even puts the phone away during meals. Well, after the food pick. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This looks like it could work. So, what happened? And that is how it's supposed to be. The hipster is in to one thing and one thing only. What's new, what's hot, what's say. the next big thing? So when you're no longer quote unquote it, it's over. If they don't love us, we don't need them. Yeah, that's a bummer. Let's find our own brand of freedom. But let me make one thing clear. The people I talk about, it's they not to bash them or poke fun at them. them. Well, maybe a little bit. 
But I think it's about what we can take away from them. And even though the hipster and I didn't work out, I did get something out of it. So, yes, dating is complicated and there isn't a right way to do it. Believe me, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor anymore. Anymore. Sneaking out. Well, we're not ready to share that one quite yet. But we will get there. Until next time.